Do not start an ATM business until you finish this video. That's what we're talking about today, coming right up. Welcome to the Chad Osuji Show, where I show you business strategies, marketing techniques, and tactics to grow your own business. All right, now before I get into anything else, I just wanna talk about how the ATM business actually works and how you can actually make money from the ATM business. So pretty much how the process works is, I, as the owner of the ATM machine, will place my machine at local shops near me. When a customer needs cash, they will pull out their wallet and put their credit card into the machine. If they need $20 in cash, my machine will give them $20, but, I will charge their account $23, which is deposited into my bank account the next business day. The difference between what I charged them and what I gave them is the surcharge, also known as the fee. After the money gets into my account, I will go to the bank and withdraw $20 and I put that money right back into the machine to make me more money. Now that in a nutshell is pretty much the entire process of how I put my machines at stores and how I actually get paid from these transactions. If you guys want to learn more about the how the ATM business works, you know, all the basics, uh, go over to my channel and watch some of my other videos and it explains it a little better. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is actually contracts with the business location. So say that I want to put a, uh, an ATM at my local pizza shop, you know, the pizza shop right down the street, I want to put an ATM in there. I actually have to draft up a contract so that this contract can protect me as the business owner of, you know, the ATMs and the owner of the, the pizza shop as well. And I do this because the contract actually shows that that ATM is mine and he cannot alter that ATM in any way. Um, this is for both of our you know, mutual protection, but this contract will actually protect you from other people coming in and actually stealing your locations. So say I have a location that's doing $500 a month, um, and if I don't have a contract, someone can just come in, uh, offer this guy a better deal, and he can actually you know, take my ATM out and put this new ATM business, put his ATM in that local pizza shop. So in order to prevent someone, you know, from coming and stealing your locations, you have to have this contract. And this contract will guarantee that you are the only uh, business with an ATM in that store for a given uh, period of time. Usually for mine, I do anywhere from three to five years, but you know, it's, it is up to your discretion. Now that is the contract that you are going to have with the business owner, but there are also going to be other contracts that you're going to have to sign within this business. And there are some contracts that I want you guys to avoid while you're in this business. Now the contracts that you really want to avoid is contracts with other ATM companies. Now these are usually with huge companies such as Cartronics, ATM Depot is one and you know, there, there's a few other ones out there, but you do not want to get locked into these long contracts with these ATM companies. And that's what some of these, you know, these gurus don't actually teach you because they, they want you to go with Cartronics because it's easy, because it's convenient. But in the long run, you are going to get ripped off and you're not going to get the same amount of, uh, the same amount of customer service as with one of these other smaller companies. And then they're also going to charge you a lot, a lot more. Now, if you go over to Cartronics website, you can actually see how many ATMs they have around the world. So right here, it says that they have uh, 230,000 ATMs around the world. Now, the way that they hook people in to buy their machines is they sell them at a discounted rate. Now, if you go with a company like Cartronics, yeah, you're gonna get your ATM for probably cheaper, but you're also gonna be paying more money month to month. I actually called up Cartronics when I was first starting out, and they actually quoted me a price. Um, I actually have the price right here pulled up. Um, so the machine cost $1,650 for the machine, um, and they actually wanted uh, 25 cents off of each transaction. So when I was uh, I was gonna charge three dollars for my surcharge, and they're gonna take 25 cents off for each transaction. Um, and then on top of that, they're gonna charge me 
about $90, something like that each month. Um, that was just for this one, but they also had another program that was, I think it was like $50 a month or $60 a month, but that's still a lot of money. Um, now, when you are looking for a processor, someone to process your transactions, you do not want um, them to take money off of your surcharge. So if Cardtronics takes off 25 cents from each transaction and you're getting about 200 transactions a month, that means that they're taking about $50 away from you each and every month. So each and every month they take $50 away from you and on top of that you have to pay $50 for their fees. That means that you're paying them, you know, $100 a month. And if you get locked in for 5 years, you're paying them almost like $6,000 over that same term. Now, with the company that I use, so that company only charges me $10 a month and that is no contract. So that means I am not locked in with this company. Now, although Cartronics offers a cheaper machine up front, it is actually in your best interest to pay more for the machine and then pay a lower monthly charge. So the company that I work with, they charge me, it's about $2,500 just for the machine itself. And that actually includes installation and the guy actually comes and does training as well with you. So he'll show you how to load money into the machine. He'll show you how to print out these transaction reports and he'll give you everything pretty much. And they actually only charge me $10 a month. Now in that same, you know, five year span that I would be locked into a contract with Cartronics, I'm only paying this company $3,100 over that whole period. Now, if I went with a company like Cartronics, I'm going to be charged, you know, $1,600 for the machine up front. But over that five year period, I'm paying $7,600 just for the machine and all the fees and everything that they include. So that means that the company that I'm working with will actually charge me $4,500 less than what Cartronics is charging me. So what I'm telling you guys is, do not go with a company like Cartronics. Uh, although they have you know cheap machines, they they have a beautiful website. They they do a ton of marketing. If you go with Cartronics, you're going to get ripped off, and that's exactly what you don't want when you're starting off in this business. When you're starting off in this business, you want to go with somebody who can give you a low charge month to month where you don't get locked into a contract because you can sell your contracts, but with you go, if you go with Cartronics, you cannot sell your contracts. Also, another big plus with the company that I work with is that this company will only charge me $10 a month and that's it. You know, I can, it doesn't matter how many machines I have. If I have a one machine or if I have 50 machines, they will only charge my account $10 each and every month. So when I get my second machine, third machine, fourth machine, fifth machine, it does not matter. Only $10 is coming out of my account each and every month. But if you go with a company like Cartronics, they're going to charge you more fees. So say your fee this month is $50 a month. Next, uh, when you add a second machine, you're going to be paying $100 a month, then $150 a month, then $200 a month. You know, it keeps adding. But with the company that I work with, it is strictly $10 a month. Does not matter how many machines I have. All right, so let's go over some of this math. Now, Cartronics wants to charge $16.50 for their ATM. So that is a fixed cost, and that is one-time fee up front. Sorry for my ugly handwriting. <laughs> All right, so if it's a five-year contract that they're going to... Uh, get you signed up with that that means that that is twenty dollars times twelve times five so for that entire five year period they're gonna charge you twelve hundred dollars now for the warranty they're gonna charge twenty dollars for the first two years and forty dollars for the last three years now for the fee Cartronics charges a nineteen dollar monthly fee and that is just for the software that they're gonna give you access to online that is what the $19 monthly fee is for. Now, if you average about 200 transactions a month and Cartronics takes 25 cents from each transaction, that means that they're going to charge you about $50 a month. All right, so this number right here, that means that Cartronics, over that five year period, that is what you're gonna be paying Cartronics. You're gonna be paying them about $9,000 
Um, most of it comes from all of their fees, not just because of the cost of the ATM. You're going to pay a lot, a lot of money just for one of these uh, machines from Cartronics. Now, what I want to show you guys, now what I want to show you guys is what I'm getting charged for one of my machines. Now, I'm turn the piece of paper over. This is what they charge me. They charge me $2,500 for the machine. And they charge me $10 a month for the fees. Now, over that same five year period, even though I'm not locked into a contract, over that five year period, I'm only paying $600 in fees. So that means my total cost for that one machine comes out to $3,100. Now, if you remember from this other side, Cartronics charges $8,910. $8, now, my company charges that much, and that equals. Now that means if you go with a company like Cartronics, over that five year period, you're gonna be paying $5,810. Now, if you multiply this by say you want 10 machines, you know, that's 60K right there. You are gonna pay a lot of money to Cartronics. And some of these guys that are teaching you, they are actually doing it themselves and they're at missing out on a lot of money and they're paying Cartronics too much money and they should be going with a small ATM company that actually provides them with you know better customer support and actually you know lower fees so say you want to get an ATM and you go over to uh, one of these ATM companies like Cartronics they're actually gonna lock you in for anywhere from three to five years so that means that you have to use their processing when you buy their ATM machine and this sucks because if you get locked into one of these long contracts you actually won't have the amount of flexibility that you will if you go with one of these smaller companies like the one that I went with. So let me give you an example. So say that you have an ATM machine at a business and that ATM machine pulls in $500 in profit each and every month and you are locked in for about five years. So that means that over that five year term, you're gonna be getting $6,000 each year, which is about $30,000 over the entire term of the contract. You know, $6,000 times five years is $30,000. So that means that that piece of paper that you sign with the business owner, that piece of paper is actually worth $30,000 in theory. Now, because this piece of paper is worth so much money, um, you can actually go ahead and sell that piece of paper um, to another ATM company and most companies will be willing to purchase it for I'd say anywhere around 50 to 60 percent somewhere in that range so that means that you could sell that piece of paper that you have with the business owner you can sell that for like fifteen thousand dollars and it only took you a couple days maybe weeks of work if you get locked into these long contracts, that means that you and your employees will actually have to service and maintain that machine as well as cash load that machine. You have a legal you have a legal obligation to fulfill that contract. So you can't sell that contract. That means that you have to do the work or else you're going to get into some legal troubles. Now, that is why I recommend you guys to go with a smaller company. You're going to pay a higher amount up front. But in the long run, you're actually going to, you know, save money and you're actually going to be able to make more money because you guys will be able to sell your contracts. Now, some of these other guys in this ATM business, you know, they're they're selling their courses and they're they're giving you all of this information, but they don't know that you're getting locked into these long contracts and that you can actually profit from selling these contracts and that's where they're missing out on a lot of big profits. Now there's actually a huge market for contracts in this business and if you can land a huge contract, you're in for a huge payday. Now if you guys are interested in this business, I actually have a free ebook that you can get down in the description below and actually talks about everything about how to get an LLC, how to form a business bank account and I have marketing, I also have contracts in there. So if you guys are interested, get that um, e free ebook down in the description below. But that is all for this video guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.